told you about the village of Acme, Alberta, that's having some issues with their town council. Citizens started to become concerned with what they saw as corrupt behavior from council members. For instance, the three main things were what appeared to be a fixed election, the attempted sale by council of a park located in the town, and the purchase of a property by a council member, Dennis Kuyken, in a tax recovery sale, which was against the rules and seen as a conflict of interest, as resident Colin Dickey suggests here. That would be the tax property sale that was purchased by the deputy mayor. Common sense would say that you recruit yourself of any of that, that, that because it's a conflict of interest. And not to mention, the mayor of Acme, Bruce McLeod, is a union boss and was once the president of the Canadian Union of Public Employees, which residents also see as a conflict of interest due to the assumed union affiliations with the NDP. There were many other allegations put forward by the residents of Acme, and if you want the backstory, you can check out the link within the text accompanying this video for the full details. Because of the behaviour by council members, a petition circulated the village and enough signatures were gathered in order to submit to the province. And Minister of Municipal Affairs Danielle Larravee granted a full municipal inspection, which I had a chance to attend. I was greeted at the door with a sign that advised that no cameras were allowed. Yes, at a small village municipal inspection. Media were only allowed to take notes. It reminded me of that time Rachel Notley and the NDP decided that the rebel couldn't cover their media events. The actual results of the municipal inspection report favor the town council and included 17 recommendations that were basically housekeeping details on reviews, repeals, analyses, and training. But the one thing that I did notice is that the report took a shot directly at the citizens in the town. It read, Unfortunately, the relationships between some members of the public and the village may be difficult to mend. And it is clear that some people have no intention of reconciliation. Innuendo, hearsay, and negative assumptions continue to abound and grow like a cancer, despite a number of proactive steps and actions by council. Isn't it odd for the government to be comparing citizen concerns to a cancer? As you can imagine, residents weren't happy with the outcome of the report, like Barbara Vanjoff, who initiated the petition. There's too many, too many recommendations. That, to me, gives a, a red flag, saying that they've obviously had discrepancies and they're just covering. I also talked to resident of Acme, Doreen, about her biggest concerns regarding the circumstances surrounding the ordeal here. My biggest concerns is that they do not listen to the people. They do not listen to municipal affairs either, obviously, but they, uh, when petitions are sent to them or given to them, they ignore them and say they don't have to follow what they, they're doing what they want to do. And then I talked to Leona Decoder, former mayor of the village. She was also disappointed with the results and the way that the tax recovery sale was handled. But she also had this to say. I think a lot of people were very frustrated. We were trying to make our voices heard when we thought things weren't being done correctly. And people told me that they felt they were ignored. And that portion of the presentation was very correct. Communications has been a very large issue. In fact, Decoder attempted to get an injunction, but withdrew the request at the advice of a judge. At this point, she says that she won't continue to challenge the council in court, and she's satisfied knowing that the group of disgruntled residents tried their very best to hold town council accountable. I also tried to contact both the Minister of Municipal Affairs, Danielle Larravee, and also Acme Town Council for comment, but they didn't respond to my requests. I'll let you know when, or more likely if, I hear back from them. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.